one of our recommendations is that hospitals are conflations of two fundamentally different business models. And one business model, one type of business model we call a solution shop, which is a business that diagnoses uh, whatever your problem is and recommends a solution. So the big consulting firms, Boston Consulting Group, McKinsey and Company, are solution shops. Uh, Cravath, Swain and Moore here in New York City is a will diagnose your legal problems and recommend a solution. And the activities of diagnosing disease inside of a hospital are solution shop kind of business. And those guys have to get paid on a fee-for-service basis. Another type of uh, business we call a value-adding process business, where something is wrong, you bring it in and you fix it, or it's incomplete and you add value to it and then you ship it out the door. So manufacturing is largely value-adding process business, but education is too. At the Harvard Business School, we bring in every year 900 very defective, incomplete people, and we add value to them and then we ship them off perfected to Wall Street at the end of two years. And, and in a value-adding process business, you can, you can charge for the result not for the input, because the ability to deliver the result is embedded in process and equipment. And in a hospital, the uh, procedures that are administered after a definitive diagnosis look a lot like a value-added process business. But most hospitals, because they, they have solution shop activities and value-adding process activities, they mush them all together into the same organizational unit trying to have the same metrics of measuring quality and they just get messed up. But when, when a, a provider separates those two out, they can diagnose so much better and then administer procedures so much more cost effectively. So this is a story that was um, told to me by Dave Snow, who was the CEO of a large uh, um, mail order pharmacy called Medco. And Dave has suffered from um, asthma his whole life. And asthma is one of those diseases that's actually not a disease. Wheezing is a symptom that at least eight different causal disorders agreed to share. And so um, since he was a young boy, Dave has been to specialist after specialist after specialist after specialist to try to get the right medication that would relieve his asthma troubles. And each one of those would add to, subtract from, multiply the medications he was taking. At one point he said he was taking over a thousand dollars of medications every month and nothing worked. So then he discovered that there was an outfit in Denver called the National Jewish Medical Center. And in Clay's language, National Jewish is a solution shop. It's, it's an institution that is focused on, dis, on uh, diagnosing accurately pulmonary diseases. So Dave flew out there. They administered a bunch of tests that are standard for them. The test materialized in 30 minutes, the, the results from it. And then into the room comes an endocrinologist, an ear, nose, and throat specialist, an allergist, and a pulmonologist. And they sit down with Dave, argue amongst themselves about what the data means, ask Dave a bunch of questions, discuss it even more. And then the leader of the group said, Dave, okay, here's what's going on. The reason none of those other therapies worked for you is you don't have those types of asthma. We think you've got this type and lucky for you, there's just a generic drug you can take that will be effective for it. So stay here a couple of days. We want to expose you to the thing that induces wheezing. We'll take this drug and just be sure that you're okay. And bingo. And Dave, as he looked back on that, noted that he had seen one of each of those specialists many times in, in his prior treatment, but he always had seen them as individuals because hospitals are organized to keep those individual people independent to maximize their flexibility. And finally, 
here was, a, here was an organization that brought them all together. So then the, the second question he asked was, I wonder if this was expensive or cheap to fly out to National Jewish, bring the four specialists together for a half hour, and my goodness, it was dirt cheap. And chronic, so that it's a marvelous illustration of how a business model innovation can actually provide better care at much lower cost. Mm -hmm.